in previous videos, you may have heard me talk about the concept of creating curiosity in your speeches. What this means is you're teasing your audience at certain times in your talk to make them want to hear more. For example, I often tell the story of being in my boss's office in 1994, a real turning point in my life, although at the time I didn't know it. He was reading some evaluations to me and giving me some pretty harsh feedback of his own. And he threatened my job if I didn't become a better presenter, if I didn't find a way to improve my presentation skills. At the time, I was just trying to save my job. I had no idea when I walked into a Toastmasters meeting in October of 1994 that that would change the course of my life. That I would not only discover the power of speaking and that it's an, a learnable skill, but I would embrace it. I'd have a passion for it, an absolute love, and it would eventually become my career. The way I just told that story, I didn't really create any suspense or curiosity. That's how most people present their stories. They just lay it out with the facts. A better way to tell the story is like this. It was a typical Thursday afternoon in October of 1994. I was called into my boss's office, and by the expression on his face, I could tell this wasn't going to be good. As I slumped into the leather chair, I had no idea that he was about to say four words that would change the course of my life. Do you see how I created curiosity there? I talked about the expression on my boss's face and the fact that he said four words that changed the course of my life. Well, if you'd never heard this story before, you'd be wondering, well, what kind of expression was it? Why was the expression there? What four words did he say? And how did this change the course of your life? All of that curiosity created in just a couple of lines. That's how you keep audiences interested. You don't give away the ending of the movie too soon. You keep them leaning forward, keep their focus by throwing little tease statements in from time to time to set up each subsequent story or point that you're going to make. As you review your current speeches and you're getting feedback and evaluations, ask yourself and ask other people to evaluate you on this question. Do I create curiosity or am I giving away the ending too soon? Am I not teasing you and making you want to hear more? Start to create more curiosity and you'll find that you keep audiences attention from start to finish every time you speak. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.